The Smart Board Revolution Global Virtual User Group presents Smart Survival Guides, the Effective Smart Board Use Series. In this episode, interacting with online video using the Smart Inc. I'm your host, Matt Granger. Twitter, mgranger114. You can find us at the Google Plus community, Smart Board Revolution. Having a smart board means you never have to watch video again. Now that doesn't mean that you shouldn't be using video to teach your students because that's a wonderful means of making the content comprehensible to help them understand it. But with a smart board, effective smart board use says you're not just going to watch the video. You're going to interact with it. Smart has given us a couple of tools that we can do that. For PC users, the best one that's available is the Smart Video Player. And that has been explored and explained in a separate video. This one, we're going to look at online video. So your district may subscribe to Discovery Streaming or CCC Streaming Media like mine does. Or this could be SchoolTube, YouTube, TeacherTube, Vimeo, any of those online video sites and with this we're going to use the smart ink first thing right our first instinct is to go full screen all right here we go however the smart ink doesn't really work yeah it showed up there tap up here I can capture this you cannot use Smart Ink with full screen because going full screen, it's like looking through a magnifying glass or something. You're really not in a separate window. So that Smart Ink really, you're still interacting with this small window here. It's just like looking through a magnifying glass. So it, it gets bigger on the screen but you're really not interacting with the full screen so we have to do this a different way okay now if you can download the the video with a PC that's going to be the best because that's going to allow you to open it with smart video player as I talked about in the other video but what are we going to do here you can see I'm actually in notebook I wasn't paying attention there it did capture that screen but it didn't capture the video and my annotation it captured this full screen right so it was the magnifying glass you were looking through but the smart ink doesn't work with that so how can we get it to work so if I want to watch this video I know we want to go it's so easy to go full screen why can't it just work I don't know that answer. I don't know the technical. I just know that that full screen is not like a separate window. If it was, it probably would work. But what can you do? So on a PC, Control Plus allows you in a web browser, allows you to zoom in. Most web browsers, that's the uh, keyboard shortcut. So I'm going to move it around a little bit and get it to as big as possible so you tap to pause it right yeah you have a little bit of the the screen showing up there but that's okay it's still pretty big it's almost the same as full screen but now I can use the pens in smart ink so I want to highlight the vocabulary right that we're talking about so here are the tools the hammer and chisel so I can put that up there now I could use the smart ink tab and capture it but what does that give me All right, that's going to give me this whole window including the little bit of the menu bar and everything which you know that's not bad right another option especially if you don't want the whole screen 
is to use your floating toolbar. So here my floating toolbar, it's the default toolbar. I haven't customized it. I would really like to be able to just select an area. So the area capture. At the very bottom of it, the gear brings up the customize. So here is the area capture. I'm going to drag that and put it over there. And for now, that's all I'm going to put. So there's done. But you know what? I have a black and a red pen. I'm going to tap on that black when I get another gear. Now I can customize that black pen. Now I have my resolution is messed up so fill effects and line style look a little weird but here are my options I'm gonna go with white I'm gonna select the second size and then I'm gonna save tool properties so now that pen is white so I can also use those instead of just the pens with the smart ink if you notice the smart ink tab they turn to white since that's the one that's selected I can just like any smart ink I can delete that but now I'm back to I want to just select an area instead of capturing the whole frame from the smart ink toolbar I'm gonna come here and select the area capture so I will just select now the part that I want and there is the picture right that I just captured so like any other object I can resize it and then do whatever I want with it and we'll talk a little bit more about that later I can go back to my video clear the ink I can do it with the tab I can also tap on the ink use the delete either way I could use the eraser and now the video will continue playing when I tap on the, bo the board so this time instead of a pen or I could even pick up a pen but if I tap on that white one because sometimes the white will really show up better on these frames so if we're sticking with the theme of the tools that they're using so here are the bags that they're using and again maybe I don't want to capture that whole frame maybe I just want part of it so I will use my area capture draw the box around the part that I want it will take the picture and put it into notebook for me so I'm not in full screen that's the key okay I've I've used the zoom function of the web browser control plus on a PC command plus or command minus on a Mac just scrolling down here clicking on the page so that's what's selected now if I click on the the video it'll play and then control minus now I'm back to the regular size when I'm done with that video in YouTube it's going to be the same thing once you get here you're on the page so you can use the control plus again on the PC command plus on a Mac get the video taking up most of your screen and then start the video so you can pause the video then using any of your smart tools you can annotate on the video now why would we do that why is that important what can we do with it capture that annotation why is that important so we have our notebook file here with however many of these pictures we've captured through our video I have these pages here now right, they're resized the images I can move them a 
put them together. So what can you do with them? If you have students that are absent, they're not going to get to watch that video. If you have these slides that kind of go through those important things that you decided to stop the video on when you were watching it, they have these slides at least that they can look at and get some information about what that video was on. You can even sit with another student and have the other student talk about you know, what was happening and give them more context to it. Another thing you can do, right, since you can resize all these and put them together, you can create a sequencing activity. So you put all the, the images that you captured on one page and have the students sequence them. All right? Put them in order that they came in the video. So that's going to help them to review the content. For ELLs, this is a great way because the videos may be using words, vocabulary that they're not familiar with. So you can stop it there and you can create a web you know, a word web right there on the frame of the video with the word that the video may have used plus other words. You know, maybe you're using a different word. Lots of different things you could do with that, right? Having a smart board means you should not watch online video. You should not watch downloadable video anymore. You should interact with it. And yes, if you're watching a DVD on your computer with Windows Media Player or something else, yes, you can pause it and do the same thing. But again, you can't, you can't capture when you're in full screen mode. You have these images now, and for ELLs, you can copy and paste these images into Word documents, on tests, on other worksheets about that same content so that gives them another connection to that content another visual to help them understand that content and that visual may help them to understand the question that you're asking on that paper test whatever so I hope you will consider giving this a try because I really truly believe that with a smart board you should not watch video you should interact with it. And that will be truly effective smart board use.